hello friend this is Harendra and today we are going to learn uh, how to create a singleton class uh, and also we will discuss the uh, use of the static keyword and uh, final keyword in while we are creating our singleton class so if you have not subscribed my channel please, please do subscribe my channel and like and share my videos so here is the Apple developer account you can check the definition and overview of the uh, singleton like uh, singleton class so you can check why we use the singleton so you can check you use singletons to provide the globally accessible shared instance of a class so you can check yeah we have created a class class name is singleton and using the static keyword so we have created an instance of that uh, that's and in, in that class and initialize that class using this method uh, this, uh, this syntax And also in the more adding the more functionalities you can check we have created this uh, class name is singleton uh, using static method so what is static method do so first uh, I have created uh, a presentation for you so that you can understand uh, why how these all steps are work together so this is the what is singleton you can read here and then next we have a singleton class that we have already seen in our Apple developer account and then this is the static method so why we use the static method and what is the use of that static method you can check here and then next this is the static method I use so I have created a sample use of that static method and then next here you can check I have created a singleton class uh, using the uh, static keyword and then we also have a final keyword so in the next uh, in the next part in our video we will discuss these all thing in the programming part so I hope uh, this this thing is clear uh, for you yeah so let's go for the uh, Xcode first so this code I have already created for was to saving the time so I am creating another Xcode sorry playground take a blank singleton is static final let's say uh, let's say this on desktop So from the first we have to create our singleton class like this so what we can do simply create this text from here okay. then you can check what we have done uh, let's remove this final first okay so this is a singleton class without final keyword and also uh, first we or run this code only till the this line so you can check this print it prints zero because uh, a value in a we have zero only then next we have assigned a value of five in this single term instance so let's create this run this again so now we have assigned the five and then what we have done we can also like uh, we can also like uh, call it global functions or uh, using a singleton class so we have written this do something method and you can check here okay. because we are printing a function inside this so that's why it's happening if we do this directly like this then so what we have done here we have created a class uh, name the class name is singleton and then we have created an instance variable and then we have uh, initialize a singleton 
instance in this variable and then we have uh, we have created a uh, we have uh, like uh, created a private init so basically what happening here a private is a modifier so that uh, this init method cannot be accessed uh, outside from this instance so, uh, to avoiding the uh, initialization from the another, uh, uh, another instance only so this is the this is the model of the our singleton class and here we will write it and then we are adding final so what finally doing that check apply this final uh, apply the final modifier to access access a class or to a property method or subscript member of a class is applied to a class to indicate that the, that the class can't be subclass so here we are adding this so that no one can uh, subclass this uh, this singleton accidentally okay and then next the search for our final keyword okay. okay so what we have done we have created a human class with the age so default age, age is 18 for the human then next what we have done we have <coughs> subclass this human as a kid so we have created another kid class that uh, that inherit and that that is a subclass of this and you can check we have created a variable b and initialize that here and then we are accessing this age from this b instance Which 15 okay so up next what we are doing we are doing we are adding final modifier so now this will give an error so that's why we are we have used final keyword here so no one can subclass this singleton class okay to avoiding that uh, sub, uh, this, uh, that feature we have added here final class and then next what we can do yeah. like we have added final here okay now check Good. you can check this is not giving any error on this class name but this is uh, giving error to like we cannot override this age property so this is the benefit of adding uh, final keyword uh, with the uh, any class variable so that no one can override that value from other instance so this these are the use of final final keyword and static keyword and here is the method this is the class structure of a singleton class final final is not compulsory but static be used for the uh, like creating or uh, like uh, accessing a variable and creating without uh, without class instance you can check we are accessing this shared instance this is the shared instance that we have created with static so this is shared instance we have created using we are using this singleton class name directly we are not uh, accessing like this we are taking uh, class name directly and then the shared instance then a value and same thing we are doing here this is the class name this is the shared instance and this is the method name so guys hope you are uh, understand uh, this thing if you have any query please uh, post your comment and also don't forget to share like and subscribe my channel thank you